<laughs> YouTube. <clears throat> Crispy. <laughs> oh, no, he didn't. Yeah, right now it's like, uh, <clears throat> right now it's like 641 on a uh, Sunday. And uh, let me turn this down real quick. What we have on deck in the background is a uh, OC Jules. All right, so we got a couple pickups here I wanted to get into. YouTube's been crazy since I've been gone. A lot of great videos. Uh, J Star did like a little series on like the way YouTube used to be or whatever, <clears throat> and that was great. Like. Brought back a lot of memories, like how when I got into YouTube, what it was like and all that. He, he did a video on, like, Frey Dog. Yo, that was amazing, dude. That was, like, yo, that was, like, Academy Award YouTube nomination. J-Star for the Frey Dog, John. But, uh, yeah, it, it was pretty vicious. Um, I Some would even say mictitious, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. Um, this video is brought to you by Paddington Bear. And them. All right, so uh, real quick, I got a I got a uh, a Nike ID right here that shut down the gram yesterday. Tassie Devil ones, as you can see, box is already dealt is already uh you know what decorated and what have you and what have you. But um, real quick, I bought my first item from H and M. I've officially just like you know, I just I just went all out. I was just like, yo, how can I just how can I just shut this shit down? And I was like, yo, H&M stature. Nah, but I, uh, I was looking for a pair of shorts that were like, uh, almost like a chambray, like, um, and I saw these and they were, they were, they were ill cheap and they only had like one pair. Like, I don't know what these are called or whatever, but they have the cuff on the bottom right here. And, uh, yeah, dude. And they were real cheap. I just wanted to show you guys that I have actually bought something for H&M. H&M is ultra, um not good to big dudes like they only make like a size 36 or something like that or whatever anyway big shout out to my man eddie Wynn. i hit him up i was like i was like yo i was like yo fam uh i'm looking for a couple pairs of shorts i'm losing a little bit of weight and what and whatnot and he was like yo there's this sale on these zane robe johns um real cheap so i checked them out they had one pair of size 38 left metal tips on the uh say zane robe and um, retail is not on here, I don't think. But they were uh, they were pretty cheap. I forget how much I actually paid for these, like thirty bucks or something like that. Um, but yeah, Nordstrom Rack. And they like they're like almost like a denim, but real soft. Just wanted to show you guys. I got a couple pickups here. Zane Robe shorts, real nice. And this was the steal of all steals of all steals. I was in Macy's yesterday. If you're watching this video on Sunday, go try to hit Macy's still. Their sales are insane. These were $98. And if I can find this receipt, yeah, it's still in the bag. Guys, I could not believe what these came out to. $6.97. Men's Polo, original 98, 579. That's, the, you know, $6.97 for these, this denim. Hampton straight. They're a little bit long, but I could have them tailored or just, you know, just cuff them. Um, stitched in on the other side. You have the other tag. Really, really nice. You see the, the red RL on the uh, the fifth pocket. Just a pair of black jeans for $7. Polo denim. How could you go wrong with that right there? But anyway, yo, the clearance racks are just crazy right now at Macy. So hit that up. This is the reason for the video. The reason I came out of hibernation. Um, going through a lot of stuff at home on the home front, but I'm still good. I'm still gravy in the Navy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but, um, yeah, I'm just handling, you know, uh, family BI, you know what I'm saying? So that's here. That's neither here nor there. Tassie D's. So these were ordered on the 20th of last month and they're already here. They were here earlier this week. Here's the lace options I was choosing. This is the joints that they came with. These, uh, purple joints. I just have them in this bag. Starks, pluses, the little plus signs, they got white tips, and then these right here are like an off-white with a purple tip. These are the Tassie Devil Air Max 1s that I created. So you tell me, 
On a scale of 1 to 10, how bodied are these? Just look at the shoe, man. Oh my god, I'm so happy with the way these turned out. And I also had a 20% off coupon to get these. So, as you can see, this one has the cream joints in them. And uh, with the, the purple tips. Uh, the tongue is actually a suede, black suede. Same as this suede down here. Uh, black mesh on the toe cap. Um, this is a white leather. As you can see. White leather, and I did a white cap right there for the uh, the lace the lace hole right there. I made that white. Everything else is a purple, a purple suede on the fox thing. Everything the the swoosh, white midsole with a white. I love when it looks like a white chunk, like all white, black airbag with black speckles on the outside. There's the uh, medial side, same thing, but these came out real real good. I, I'm so happy with the way these came out. Every time you, you make a Nike ID, you're not sure the way it's going to be when it gets to the McNizzle, you know what I mean? But these are just these are just dope. I'm really happy. Black Nike Air on the back. And these are the, uh, see the Starks? You can't really see. Starks. These are the, uh, the plus laces. Yeah, so couldn't be happier with this Nike Air pickup. I got a bunch of Nike IDs. I got another pair coming in. I ordered two when I had that 20% off joint. Um, let's see if we can go through and pick out a couple more. Uh-oh, we're going into the decks. Here we go. This right here, you have the, uh, Jordan 3, all black leather. Red lining. You have that gray leather tongue. Gray tab. Real nice. But we'll see. All right, let's see what else we got down here, guys. I figure why not, you know? Woo! These are the Air Max 1 Urawa Dragons. You see you have the Nike uh, swoosh pinwheel. They're all little swooshes. But uh, this gray, gray mesh, red leather up top, white leather swoosh, and red uh, suede going all along the, uh, the bottom. There's another one, Air Max 1. That's two more. Let's see what else we got down here. Oh, my Viotech 90s. Viotech Air Max 90. Navy blue right here on the mud guard. All crazy. You have the uh, nylon right there, like a rip stop. Can't really hate on them, you know. Uh, let's see if we can go maybe one more. We're running through all these, you know, might as well, since we're here. Oh, my God. The Amsterdam. This is one of my favorites. Uh, blue speckle, blue airbag, blue bottom, yellow guts, white leather tongue. Man, these are nice. Nike in the back, you know, you can't really hate on this shoe right here. So, out of my ones right here, I think I got a couple more, but we'll just do this for shits and gigs. Which one do you think is the best? Uh, all right, we got the Urawa Dragon. The uh, Amsterdam, and then we have the Jordan 3. Not bad. And then we have these. I think these are the best, man. Sorry. I think these are the best. Now, uh, before I get out of here and let you guys get back to your Sunday, I just want to say a few things. Um, you know, I'm going to uh, be straight up. I got a lot going on in my, uh, my daily, and... Um, yeah, so uh, YouTube's going to be, I'm going to try to do as much as I can, guys, but I want to say thanks to everybody out there that makes videos. Um, I think it's important to keep it going. I know a lot of people were talking about seeding. Um, I think seeding is also important. Um, I think it, it shows uh, people with initiative. It's a reward. You know, it's, 
I think um, a lot of it can, it can dilute the 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 uh, the YouTube thing and all that by just you know sending 12 people the same shoe. You're gonna see 12 of the same videos. But here's the the bottom line: you don't have to watch it. Like um, you don't have to watch everybody's review of the Saucony ice cream pack. Um, it's not required viewing. You know what I mean? So I think if uh, if anybody that was in their position or my position, I only get stuff from champs and it's very sporadic. Um, I don't make enough videos and I, and I, I dig that. And I also have a very select viewing audience and the people that like my videos, like my videos for, for me, not necessarily the kicks. Well, that's what I think anyway, because I don't, I don't really cop, you know, heat quote unquote. Um, you're never going to see a PE. You're not going to see a sneaker over a thousand dollars. I'm never going to buy it. Uh, it's not me. Um, but what you will get is original content, um, and stuff that I like. So if you're into that, then you're into my channel. You know what I'm saying? But um, to the companies out there that want to send me stuff, yo, I'm all about it. <laughs> I'm not going to front. And everybody watching would do the exact same. The thing to keep in mind is you want to stay true to yourself and, um, you know, be honest. Like I think uh, Bullet RC said that um, he got these joints right here from Champs and was not happy. I'm not not happy, but not feeling them. I was the same way. I would never wear this shoe outside. It's just me. No offense to Jordan Brand. Um, if Michael, you know, I'm pretty sure Mike watches this. So Mike, um, you know what I'm saying, Mike? Yeah, yeah, me. But um, yeah, Mike, I'm not gonna rock these, dog. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think I wore these once to go over to get a big gulp for my aunt from 7-Eleven. You know, she just had a hanker in for some, uh some coke so i went over and got some some pepsi so i think i wore these for that and they're really not that comfortable um there's one or two reasons i wear a shoe looks and comfort and if both of them aren't i'm not feeling both of them i can't act like i am that being said you know <laughs> thanks for the free kicks i guess but um to all the companies out there it's why it's a no-brainer why they do it it's it's basically free marketing so it's a it's a it works out for both parties and the viewer Basically, it's up to you guys to watch or not watch. You know what I'm saying? I would love if you watch my videos. I appreciate it just because I like meeting new people, chopping it up. And, um, you know, I enjoy making these kicks and getting new kicks and, and sharing them with you guys. Um, I work a lot. I'm working over a graveyard shift on one of my jobs right now. And it's, uh, it's, I don't have a lot of free time. But when I do, like today, I'm going to bring you guys a video. Say what's up, touch base, you know what I mean? How you doing? Yo, I heard you was at that party Tuesday night. Young John was there all crazy, blah, 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 you know what I mean? Uh, 40s and Blunts ended up at the Mayfair Diner, 3 a.m., you know what I mean? All right? You know what I mean? It's uh, it's neither here nor there. But um, before I get all verklempt, let me get out of here. Um, what kind of videos would you like to see from me? Would you like to see videos where I just kind of, you know, go through the decks and see what, I'm, see what it's hitting for or um, certain kind of collection videos? Uh gear i figured i would show these you know a couple pickups i just got because i thought they were they were kind of cool i thought that seven dollar pair of low jeans is crazy the zane robe shorts eddie win my man um but uh yeah this is basically crispy coil just me being me um and that's uh that's about it i want to do a, a video on my books i got a ton of sneaker related books stuff like that i think that would be kind of dope um but uh yeah, that's about it, man. Let me get back to watching Raid 2 here. Yo, tell me this dude does not look crazy right here. And he's just like, well, this wine is very good. Let me just drink this here. And yes, and put it down. And, you know, I'm going to go over here and slit this dude's throat like it was my straight up jab. <laughs> slit this dude's throat like it was warm butter. And <laughs> yo, peep him back here with his limp too. Oh my God. All right, so let me get out of here, man. I got to get some rest before I go to work tonight. Crispy. Follow me on uh, Insta, you know, Crispy Coil. I think it's Mr. Crispy Coil. Whatever. You you guys know where I'm at. I'm sure it's in my little somewhere on the screen here. But um, which set of laces would you rock? You know, these pluses. Anybody got the Tassie Devils that doesn't need those purple laces? Yo, I got mad ill laces that I could trade for. Yo, my lace game is vicious. So you want to get a little trade on? You could do that. I'll buy them. That would be really dope. So uh, let me get out of here. But on that note, everybody out there making videos, I'm really enjoying watching them. Like I said, when I'm at work on my break, stuff like that, I, I see what goes on. But um, 
Yeah, so I touched on all those little bases and all that. I'm just taking up too much time. Guys, I'm out of here, man. Two fingers, fish grease, peace.